everybody. So today we are going to do a little video and we're going to talk about stringing wire. Um, so what this is, is this is the wire that you string beaded necklaces on. Anything that's like a long section of beads where you would have a clasp on it, that kind of thing. This is the wire that you're going to use. And believe it or not, there are actually 12 completely different wires shown in this picture and they all are for something different. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to break it down, tell you what every, you know, different kind is so that way you're a little bit more aware when you're shopping, you know, which ones you should be using for which project which ones you'll use the most all that kind of good stuff so let's get into all the different kinds and you know how you know what to pick out so the first thing I want you to notice is there are three different colors green yellow and blue all the greens have a 7 on the top all the yellows have a 19 on the top and all the blues have a 49 on the top what that is is it's the number of strands in the stringing wire so the 7 has 7 strands in it the 19 has 19 strands in it and the 49 has 49 strands in it so you can see they're all basically like just tiny little strands bound together and it's coated in nylon so that way it doesn't like rust or touch your skin or break down or anything like that it's nice and strong um so less strands is less strong okay it's also a little bit stiffer the higher you go in the strands it gets stronger better quality and a little bit more flexible so that way the drape on the necklace this it's going to be just a little bit more rounded and then as you go down it's going to be a little bit more of a natural drape to your necklaces um, the way we kind of tell people around here, seven, we use it for like kids stuff, kind of crafty stuff. If you're hanging like beads on your Christmas tree or from the ceiling or something like that, this is typically what I use. 19 is kind of like average, you know, day to day quality. It's kind of like the Walmart, you know, level. Um, it's good for most of your stuff, but if you're doing anything that is really important to you, really expensive, maybe something that has really tiny beads and you do not want to ever restring it again, um, anything you're selling or giving as a gift, we go with the 49. Anything that we sell in the store, I guarantee you it's on the 49 because it's got my name on it and we want it, you know, good quality, not breaking, anything like that. So that's really your choice, whatever quality level you want to do. Of course, the price does go up with the higher quality ones, but it's you're getting more for your money that way and you're getting a better quality product, okay? So the first number you're going to do is pick out your size, so 7, 19, or 49. The next thing you're going to look at is right here. It has a number that says inches next to it. That controls the width. So you can have a 7, a 19, and a 49 strand that are all the same width. Okay, and that doesn't have anything to do with how big the cording is. So as the number goes up, that does not mean that the num that the thickness goes up. You need to look at this number here for that. Okay, so 0 0.013, 0 0.015, 0 0.018. 0 0.021 okay the bigger that number gets the thicker the wire is the most common ones you're going to use is this 018 and the 021 the 021 is going to fit most of your beads um, pretty much probably 80 or 90 percent of your beads are going to fit on the 021 um, but if you need anything that has small holes like freshwater pearls or gemstones that are have a little bit smaller holes you're going to go with the 018 and then if you have really fine gemstones like the teeny tiny rondelles or sometimes briolettes you're going to start going with the smaller wire and the smaller wire for these two sizes you're going to basically need to try it on your bead and use the thickest one that will fit through the bead comfortably you don't want it to be tight or have to force the beads down on the cord you want it to kind of slide it on easily okay they do make a 024 that's even larger than the 021 we don't stock it because it does not fit on the standard wire guardians and really it's not adding any extra strength or anything because your strength is coming from this 49 number so the 021 is the highest stock that size that we carry here so when you hear us say this store say this in the store this is a 4921 a 4918, a 4915, a 4913, and then the 7 and the 12. Instead of a 13, they're a 12. Basically the same size. I don't know why they have it, you know, one tenth of an inch separate, but that's totally fine. Um, so you're going to pick out your quality, 7, 19, or 49, and then pick out your size. If you're debating between the 18 and the 21, I would go with the 18 because it will fit through your regular beads and your smaller whole stuff like your freshwater pearls and stuff like that. Um, if you, you know, can have both of them on stock, that's always better, but if you want to just start with one, I always start with the 18. And since that is the most popular one that we sell here, the 4918 also comes in a 100-foot roll. Normally it comes in a 30-foot roll. 
And so, of course, the price goes up because you get a little bit more, but it's much cheaper than buying three rolls of this one. So hopefully that kind of clears things up for you, gives some ideas on when you should use which products, how to do um, different sizes, and like what quality is appropriate for what type of thing. If you have any questions, of course, definitely let us know below. Uh, but all the stuff you can grab it on our website, and whenever we list it, it's 7-21, not 021, point zero two one. It's 7 21 and then 19-21, 49-21. So that'll kind of help you search things out, or you can just do beetle on stringing wire and sort through all of them, kind of compare prices, see what's appropriate for the project that you're doing, all that good stuff. So if you have any questions or anything, definitely let us know. But thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you saw.